Yeah. Okay, so um, we've always been plagued with uh, aphids on our cherry tree. For, uh, it's been in the ground for about three or four years now, and every single year, um, we, we, this has been absolutely swarmed. I've tried almost everything to get rid of it. The one thing I haven't tried is doing a winter wash. Um, so I've done some research and I've spent a bit of time looking on, um, on Google. There's loads that you can buy from the shops, but this channel is all about keeping the cost down um, and showing you that it doesn't have to cost a fortune. So you can make your own. There's a number of different ways you can do it. I've looked at loads of different recipes. I've looked at the advantages and disadvantages of all the ingredients that they're telling you to put in. Um, and something that I've come up with as well is it's got to have a, a plant-based oil in it. Um, that's going to cover the, the eggs of the aphids that are sort of in the branches of the trees that have laid in the branches of the trees and they break down the egg um, and that'll kill it hopefully. Um, then you're going to dilute that with some water um, and then you know you can add some other things, have some like baking soda and stuff which also is a, an aggressive sort of chemical for uh, pests and it, it will help kill pests. Um, something that I've always liked is, is tea tree oil. So tea tree oil has antifungal properties um, and I haven't found a recipe like this online. I'm going to make this, this is one that we've just come up with ourselves, isn't it? And we're going to put this together um, and then we're going to use it and go and spray the cherry tree. And later on in the year we'll let you know how we get on. So um, if you want to give this a go yourself as well, then um, feel free to, to have a little go at making this up. Um, and see how you get on. Maybe come up with a different recipe. If you've got any ideas for other recipes for homemade organic uh, winter wash for fruit trees, then I would love to hear them. Stick them down in the comments. So uh, let's crack on and let's get this made. So the recipe that I've come up with for this uh, winter wash, you're gonna need a bottle. This is just a litre bottle. Um, I think most of the recipes you'll find online, they're all in gallons and stuff like that. You know, for me, that's just too much to make up. I don't need that much. So uh, a litre spray bottle. Um, a lot of people use a pump up spray bottle. And the idea of that is as well, you're gonna um, have the pressure of the, the fluid that's gonna dislodge the, the aphid eggs as well, or the pest eggs. Um, but uh, they are a bit more expensive. I haven't got one of them. I picked this up from a local shop for a pound, so it's nice and cheap. Um, we're going to put three teaspoons of sunflower oil because it's got to be, uh, you know, an organic vegetable oil or, or plant-based oil, sorry. Um, and then I'm going to put a teaspoon of tea tree oil and then fill the rest up water. We're going to give it a good shake and then we're going to get outside and give the tree a spray because um, it's a great time to do it at the minute. It's not raining, it's dry out there, it's it's pretty mild, the temperature's not freezing, it's, you know, it's up to about um, seven or eight degrees today, so it's, it's pretty mild here. Um, so it's a good time to, to spray it up. I mean, ideally, uh, I probably should have done it um, earlier on in the winter period, but uh, I think it's never too late to give it a try. So we're gonna, we're gonna mix this up now, um, and then we're gonna head outside. Okay, so uh, here is the cherry tree. Um, this is what's bringing all our aphids into the garden, or what I believe is. I mean, you can get them from all different sources, but ever since this went in about three or four years ago, um, it's been plagued with aphids. I've tried absolutely everything to get rid of them. I've come out here on a daily basis, squashing them with my fingers, all that sort of stuff, which is really messy. Um, the only thing, as I said, that I haven't tried is the winter wash. So I'm gonna stick that on. Um, I'm going to keep spraying that every week now um, until we start seeing some buds, till the weather warms up and we start seeing some buds on there and then I'll stop um, because it's a winter wash. You're supposed to do it when the tree is dormant so I'll keep spraying it every week. Until then, um, let's get on, give it a spray. <music>
Okay, that's it. All done. All sprayed up. Uh, like I said, I'm going to keep repeating that every week now for the next uh, few weeks, um, next month or so, until we start seeing some growth. And I'll give you an update later on in the year. Fingers crossed. Uh, that's going to get on top of the aphids. And if you want to follow the same recipe that I've used, feel free. If you've got any uh, other recipes that you use yourself, um, or other ways to get rid of aphids, please stick them in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that because it's a constant battle as a, as a vegetable uh, gardener to try and keep on top of So thanks for watching, catch you next time.